Hello everyone, and today we're going to look at a Chrome extension known as Google Dictionary. You can see that right up here on my uh, extension list. You can see Google Dictionary, I have the extension. Uh, if you'd like to download it, an easy way to do so is just get to Google. And you're obviously I'm in Google Chrome because it's the only place it works. I can search Google Dictionary. And it should be right towards the top of the list. You can see this one's in the Chrome Web Store. You find that and just click add. It's already added for me, so I, I have it already added. So that's why it says added to Chrome. But once you add it and close your browser and restart it, here's what it does. All right. If I have a news article that I assigned to students, and this is a, just a, a horribly sad news article about uh, Archie. Um, apparently, he dies of circulation-related illness. Um, and don't worry, this is Archie in the future, not present. So the comic's still alive. But if you gave an article to students and they don't know what circulation means, they can double click the word and it will define the word for them. But one of the also awesome parts of it is, is that while a student's in there, not only can they get the definition, but if they don't know how to say it, circulation, they can click it and it will say the word for them. Circulation. So a really cool thing to do. Um, so we can see like Rapscallion. Rapscallion. Protagonist. And like I said, all a student has to do is double click a word and it will define it for them and more often than not Tumultuous. tell them how to say it. So that's Google Dictionary, a great Chrome extension. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to contact me and I'll help you out. But enjoy the extension and have a great day.